by the time I came to Jesus, I was a heroin addict. I was a cocaine addict. I had been so strung out on drugs. All, everybody in rock and roll took drugs. I only knew two people that didn't take drugs in 21 years in rock and roll, and both of them were alcoholics. Mm -hmm. So it was just a mess, and, and none of the people were happy. Everybody was depressed. I mean, it's horrible when you, you think when you're a kid, if you get to where you could be, have a Ferrari and you, and you sell a million records or five and you got enough money and you can go where you want to and do what you want to, you think you're gonna be happy and you get there and nobody's happy. And all the kids are, you know, the marriages aren't really working. Nobody's really in love. They're just all using each other. You know, God is love. And without him, there isn't, there's affection, there's lust, there's all kind of stuff but there wasn't any love. So we wrote this book to, to help those people to understand, it doesn't matter how bad your situation is, if you'll let Jesus, I mean, he raises the dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, that too, in my mind, that's too late. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's God. <laughs> He's God. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing he can't fix. And in fact, he said to me one day, and uh, this is in the book of opinions, I can't quote scripture on this, but you know, <laughs> he said to me, I will fix anything you give me total control of, or I'll replace it with something better. But I'm a giver, not a taker. And if you give anything you give to me, I will make it better if you'll give me control over it. You know, it's, and it's not about being all religious. It's just about treating God like he's God. Just don't treat him like anybody else because he's not like anybody else. He's more whole. He's better than you could imagine your wildest imagination. He's, he doesn't hold anything against you. He casts your sins into a sea of forgetfulness. He doesn't even remember them anymore. He doesn't treat you. He doesn't remind you of what you did last Thursday. If you'll give him a chance, he'll make your life, the quality of your life will raise every day. Now, there'll be tests. We're not saying there aren't any tests. There'll definitely be tests. You study the Word, it's like school. You study a while, a test comes. If you pass the test, you get, to, you get promoted. If you don't, you're in the third grade again next year. 